Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Good evening. Hi, Mr. Eric. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I am doing great. Welcome to your class. Happy Thanksgiving Day. It's a pleasure to see you. Thank you. Yes. Today's Thanksgiving. We are very happy to be the, to have the opportunity to be with you here. Give me one second. I'm going to connect my computer. Okay. Here we go. It was dying. Hello, Christian. Welcome. Here we go. Okay, my dear students, how was your day today? Well, my, my day teacher. was, well, my day was relaxed. It was relaxed. That's yeah. very awesome. What about you, Christian? Um, mm, a lot of work. You had a lot of work to do. Okay, yes. very good. Excellent. But, but it's, it's fine. Good. It was fine. Okay. So today we are celebrating Thanksgiving Day. It's a very American celebration. But uh, in this day, you take a moment to express uh, why are you thankful for and what are the things in life that you really appreciate? So that's why I wanted to wish you a happy Thanksgiving day, my dear students. So let me just start sharing. I am going to send a message to your friends that we are here waiting for all of them so they don't forget us. Here we go. And let me see. Rosita finish her platform, she says. Hello, hello. Okay. In class. So help me to forward the message to your friends. I sent a message on the group. Okay, apoying me el mensaje. That was nice. Okay. Teacher, yes? teacher uh, when is the last class? Tuesday. Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Tuesday is going to be a day for presentations. I am going to share today what you are going to be presenting on Tuesday. You have an oral evaluation that day. And I am okay. going to share it with you in a moment, right? I am going to go here, sharing my screen, and we can start. Today, we're going to talk about quantifiers. And for sure, it is one of the last classes that we're going to have in topics, because later on, we have to finish checking all the exercises on Monday. And um, on Tuesday, it's a day for presentations, right? You are going to have the opportunity to present on Tuesday, and I am going to give you the different topics in a second, right? Just a little bit of the review. Remember to practice your English as much as possible. Be respectful and polite. Attend all your classes. Keep your cameras active. Work on the educational platform. I think you finished already. And keep an active and cooperative activity in the WhatsApp group. 
I want to start today's class by asking you this question. What are you thankful for? What is something that you think in your life and you are thankful for today? Because Thanksgiving is a day to be thankful for. For example, in my case, I am thankful because of my students, my job, and the opportunity that I have to share with new people every single day. That's what I am thankful for. What are you thankful for today? Teacher, uh, yep. thank you for, thank, thankful for, uh, es como dar gracias. It's yo, when you say, what are you thankful for? ¿Por qué estás agradecido? Okay. ¿Por qué estás agradecido? For example, I was mentioning that I am thankful for my students, my family, my job, and the opportunities. Okay. What are you thankful for? Uh, I am thank, thank you, thankful, thankful for, thankful for, uh, for my family, for a life, a life, for my house, for my job, for my English class, because I am learn. Oh, thank you. Uh, and for my my children. For, for muchas cosas. <laughs> for many things. For, for many, many things. things. <laughs> That's very beautiful. Thank you, Crisia, for sharing. Mr. Eric, what are you thankful for? I thank you. I I thankful for my family, for my parents, uh, my nephew, with God. Uh, I I feel thank with you because you you give give up uh, information for learn for learn day day by day thank you uh, for thing for a lot of new things good and Very. I thankful for that that's very awesome, Mr. Eric. I am very thankful for having the opportunity. Imagine, I never imagined at the beginning of this year that I was going to have the chance to meet such amazing people like all of you, right? I didn't imagine at the beginning of this year that I was going to have this prize from life. And I have met amazing people here and I am really thankful for that, for the opportunities that I have had and for all the other ones that are coming. So I am very glad. And now, and today I wanted to give this little stop to the class and say like, yeah, this is what I am thankful for. And this is what I appreciate from life. And for all the students that haven't connected, right? Para los que no se habían podido conectar todavía, pero van a ver este video después. We are very thankful for all of you. Okay, we are very thankful for your lives. Mr. René Varias is just connecting right in the moment of, of being thankful for. Hello, Mr. René, how are you? Fine, thank you. Sorry for late, but I'm here. Don't worry. Don't worry. We, were, uh, we were mentioning a little bit of why and what are you thankful for in this life? Mr. Eric was mentioning that he's thankful for his life, for his family, his friends, the opportunity to learn English, right? And the opportunity of being here. What are you thankful for, Mr. René? Exactly the same of Mr. Eric Cardoso. Right. So you are thankful about your life and friends, family. and Family and, the, and my job and my house and my friends that's very uh, nice. i don't know in my health yep uh you know, so many blessings of that every day is a it's any day for for ex, for experiment for experience to experience to experience, experience the, the god's grace okay Yes. That is uh, maybe a one or two reasons for 
would be grateful. Excellent. Paper or thankful. 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 Yes. Thankful, right? Every yes. every day, it's a great opportunity to be thankful for. Definitely, you have said it. That it's very good. And for the health, imagine these years that have been so difficult with all the pandemic, COVID, and all the illnesses, and so many people that we have uh, lost because of this. So we're we have to be very thankful for for being healthy. Right. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you. Rosita, what are you thankful for? ¿Por qué estamos agradecidos en este día, Rosita? <laughs> ah, porque gracias a Dios que hemos terminado el día. Con bien en el trabajo. Yes. Hemos regresado a y a, la, a nuestro hogar. <laughs> exactly like that. That it's very good. Thank you. We came back home safe and sound, you say. Safe and sound, it's sanos y salvos. Safe and sound. That's good. So thank you, Rosita. As it is Thanksgiving today, I wanted to make this quick twist to, to our class, safe. right? Yes. Safe to, and sound. Safe and sound, right? Safe and sound safe means? Safe and sound. Mm -hmm. So this was the first thing that I had where I was like, happy Thanksgiving for everybody. I know maybe I didn't have a turkey to offer. No les traje pavo todo, pero we are here. <laughs> I, I didn't have the opportunity to bring turkey for everybody. And let's see. No, we don't have an, a, a turkey here. Okay. Okay, se los debo, ni a los muñequitos está el pavo. Okay, ni modo, vamos a jugar pollo. <laughs> we, we don't have turkey, I'm going to give you chicken. Chicken, if, if, because there's no turkey. Okay, my dear students, we're going to start today with quantifiers. That's what we're going to talk about. There you go. Una pierna pollo le puede <laughs> Excellent. So talking about the quantifiers, right? We have been we have been discussing the different family members, relationships, the different uh, parts or the different members that we have in the family, right? That's what we were talking about in the previous class. And we were also talking a little bit about present continuous, right? We started talking about present continuous with the activities that your family members were doing yesterday. I asked you that question, but I wanted to make a little stop and review a little bit of present continuous, how you create sentences in affirmative, negative and interrogative form for the present continuous. It is very important, right? To have an auxiliary verb and a main verb. What is the type of auxiliary verb that we use for present continuous? A ver. ¿Quién me dice? ¿Cuál es el verbo auxiliar que siempre ocupamos para las oraciones in present continuous? Verb to be. The verb to be, right? We use the verb to be depending on the subject that we are using, right? If you are using I, am, you, are, she is, he is, we are, they are, right? To make the sentences negative, we use the auxiliary not and the verb in present continuous with ing. And to make questions, we use the auxiliary at the beginning, the subject, and the ing form of the verb. So tell me one thing, my dear students, tell me one thing that you are not doing right now. For example, I am not watching TV. I am teaching a class. I'm not taking a shower, taking a shower. I am studying right now. I am not taking a shower. I am studying. Good. Another example. I am I'm not working right now. I am not working right now. Another example. I am not cooking right now. I am not cooking. Another example. I am not playing right now. I am not playing. Rosita, your example. 
something that you are not doing. Oh, the microphone. The microphone. I, I am sleeping right now. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> I Rosita, Rosita. So uh, you are not sleeping right now. You are receiving a class, right? Ya lo voy a poner. El problema, y eso es de aquí para todas las demás clases, el problema a veces es que nos acomodamos mucho a recibir la clase. ¿verdad? Y eso es para todas las clases virtuales. Porque nos pasa. A mí me pasó en, en un curso de, de, de liderazgo en el que estaba. Si me acomodaba mucho para recibir el curso, me perdían. Pero no, tenemos que estar bien sentaditos, busquen un lugar donde no se puedan recostar, busquen un lugar donde tienen que estar sentados y que tengan siempre su material de trabajo cerca. Porque René ahí, si se acomoda un poquito más, lo perdemos. Eric, Eric, si se acomoda un poquito más en el, en el sofá ahí, o no sé qué es lo que está ahí, lo perdemos. Y Rosita, si se acomoda un poquitito más, la perdemos. Y a, a Cris ya, ya la perdimos porque no la veo. Y acostada en la cama. Ajá, ya, 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 ya. ya no, ven, con mi cuaderno. Aquí ah. estoy con mi cuaderno. Pero acostada. Aquí estoy, teacher, con mi cuaderno. Ok, no. Y eso le va a servir, le va a servir un montón para esta clase y para todas las demás que vengan. Eh, busquen un lugar donde eh, nos obliguemos a estar sentados y a poner atención, porque a veces el lugar más cómodo que buscamos, ¡ay Dios! Podemos, al ratito lo veo a ustedes, al ratito veo el cielo falso. <risa> Because the phone goes like this. It's like, Puk. and then I start looking at them at the ceiling. So, it's good. So, tell me one thing that you are not doing. So, uh, Crisia, what are you, what is something that you are not doing right now? I am not working right I now. I am not working right now. Claudita, welcome to the class. Tell me something that you are not doing right now. She is not participating. Hmm. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me something that you are Sorry. not doing. <laughs> Sorry, I have a other class. Ah, la infidelidad. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's the max. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yo sabía que había otra en mi lugar. <laughs> yeah, y sin pena me lo dicen. Estaba con otra teacher. Oh my God. No, it's okay. So she was not in my class. She was in another class. Mr. Noel, welcome. He's not in a funeral today. He's in class. Good. <laughs> so about the things that you are doing. Tell me, students, are you watching TV right now? No, I'm not. No, I am not today, teachers. <laughs> ah. Tell me, are you cooking? No, we are not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Are you planting trees? No, no, I'm not. not. Are you skiing? You're. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> Are you falling asleep? Um, so so. Hey, look at look at this. It's me. Okay. No, I'm not. <laughs> I no, I am not. No, I am not. Okay. <laughs> Are you shopping for flowers? Mm. No, I'm no, not. I'm not. No, we're not. Are you freezing? Yes, I am. I am not a today. little bit. Are you combing your hair? No, I'm not. Tell me, what is Juanito doing? He's playing. He's playing, he's playing in the park. In he's the playing park. in the park. Lie down. Okay, he's he's just like he's on the on the. Oh my God, I don't right? remember the. On the slide, yes. What are Crisia and Eric doing? Dancing. They are dancing. They are, they are dancing. We are, da we are we dancing. We are dancing. What is Elmer doing? <laughs> He is Elmer cooking. is cooking. Elmer is cooking. What is Rene doing? And he's washing. He's washing the clothes. What? Uh, 
what is Rosita doing? Is uh, <laughs> he's, he's cleaning the, cleaning, the cleaning the yard. The park. She's cleaning the, the yard. yard. Yeah, She's cleaning uh, the yard. Yeah. What is Claudia Vamos, doing? Teacher, uh -huh. teacher barrer in English is swap. Sweeping. 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 Yes, sweeping. What is Rosita doing? She fixes the television. Fixing the television. Fixing the television. Fixing or fix? Fixing. Fixing. Well, she's fixing. She's fixing. Uh huh. What is Teacher Nati doing? She's singing. She's a singer. She's, she's singing. in karaoke. She's in the karaoke, right? <laughs> good. Very good. What is Noel doing? She's playing a actress. <laughs> actor. He's, he's an actor. No. What is the What is the action? Playing. Playing. I don't know. She's on a play. I don't know. No. He, what is what is he doing? What is the action that he's doing? He's acting. Acting. He's acting. 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 Mm -hmm. acting. Let me see. What is Mr. Eduardo Mercado doing? He's, he's swimming. swimming. He's swimming, right? He's swimming. Ooh. Very good. She... <laughs> he's swimming. <laughs> Let me see. What is Crisia doing? He's riding, She's a riding a bicycle. Riding a bike. What is Eric doing? Oh, He's a oh, He's painting. He's painting. He's He's painting. Oh. Hey, this is Mr. René again. What is Mr. René doing? He's playing, He's playing the, guitar. the guitar. He looks like you. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Mire, tengo la foto en vivo y en, en, en foto. Eh? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. The same. What is Claudita the doing? The concert. What is Claudia doing? He's playing the piano. He's playing, He's the, playing piano. the piano. Hey, I have Mr. Noel here. Look. I feeling the cat. Feeling the cat. Feeling the cat. Feeling the cat. Listen, he's feeding the cat. He's not eating the cat. Yeah, yes. No se estaría comiendo el gato. Feeding the cat. Es feeding. 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 F feeding. F feeding. F What's the meaning of feeding? Teacher? Feeding, alimentar. Feeding. Alimentar oh, o alimentando. Ah, yeah. Es alimentar. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. eating, eating the cat is like yum, 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 yum. No, right? Feeding. No, no, no. Hey, what is Rosita doing? Look at this. What is Rosita doing? She's I can't see. Buying. Walking. Buying the mall. He, she's waiting the bus. She's shopping. Ah. He's shopping. Ah, shopping. He's buying shopping. Ah, okay, buying okay. Yes, she's shopping. She's shopping. I can't. I, I couldn't. Can't. My goodness. And the last one. What? What is he doing? No babies. He's cooking. He's cooking. He's cooking. Very good job. So thank you very much, my dear students. Ya ven, a todos los tengo aquí en, en dibujo animado. <laughs> they are very similar to you. Excellent. Okay. So, yeah, estas tarjetas son para todos. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, regalo de Navidad para un teacher. Regalo de tarjetas. We use them a lot. <laughs> Una so, radio. Yes. Hey. <laughs> Exercise one. Here we have two conversations, right? We have two conversations and we are going to use the present continuous forms. But remember to use the auxiliary forms and wait. Okay, here I go. Me había muteado yo misma. Hi, Stephanie. What are, what what are, you, are, doing? What are you doing? Because here you need the auxiliary, here you need the auxiliary, and for sure, you are going to use the verb in the ING form. What are you doing? Hey, Mark, I? 
Standing. Standing. I standing. ¿Y el auxiliar dónde está? I am standing. I am standing. I am standing. I am, I am standing. Don't tell me I am standing. No, I am standing, standing in, in, an, in an elevator and it's a stock. It's a stock. It means that it doesn't move. Oh no. Are you okay? Yeah. I wait. It, it is move, it, it's, moving. It's, it's, it's moving. It is moving. Have you ever experienced this? No. Thank no. God I haven't. No, thank God. No, thank I goodness, haven't. right? Thank goodness. Gracias a Dios. Oh, thank goodness. That's an expression, uh -huh. right? This is an expression when you say thank goodness. It's like, oof, gracias a Dios, right? Thank goodness. You don't say thank God, but the expression, thank goodness, it's it means that uh, oh, you are thankful for what's going on. Marcy, how? Are. Uh, how are good? How are uh, you, Justin? Enjoy. 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 How are you Enjoy. and Justin enjoying your shopping trip? We we are we happy. are have we are uh, we are have having we are having we are having a lot of fun. Your brother. Are your brother? Are your you brother is spending, spending a lot of money? Your brother, only one person. Is your brother what do you? Is your brother? Is your brother right? Mm. Is your brother spending yes. a lot of money? Spending <laughs> a lot of money? <laughs> no, mom. Mm -hmm. No, mom. He is <laughs> buying. He is buying. He is buying, buying. he's buying only, only one or two things, that's all, right? Yeah, that's he's all. he's only buying one or two things. Look at this, one or two things. Uh -huh. Yeah, no confíen en nadie que le diga, voy a ir al super, una dos cositas. Mm. Yeah. And if, if you are a lady or if you are a, a, a boy who loves shopping and you say, I am going to go to Dollar City just for one thing. Hey. <laughs> no, it's a hey. trick. It's a trick. Una trampa, no caigan en eso. Don't go. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hay muchas cosas innecesarias que son necesarias. <laughs> it's like, oh, look at this. I didn't have it. And you have three at home, right? And then you say like, oh, look, new markers. Yeah, if you are a teacher like me, you say like, hey, new markers. And I have thousands of markers here in my house. <laughs> but I need that one because it's new. It's different, right? And it's from the learning. I need it. A different experience. It's a different experience. <laughs> yeah. So it says, hi, students. What are you doing? <laughs> Hi, hey, students. I stand, I stand in, 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 a... in Pokemon. Hi, students. What are you doing? Hey, teacher. Hey, I stand in the elevator. I'm standing, standing in the elevator. And it's stuck. stuck. Por allá uno, por aquí otro, por allá otro. <laughs> Hi, students. <laughs> what are you doing? It's a stuck, a stuck, no, right? It's stuck. A stuck, a stuck. Oh no, oh. are you okay? Yeah, uh, yeah. Wait. Yeah. 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 yeah, he's moving. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. goodness. Thank goodness. Good. Thank goodness. Students, how are you and Justin enjoying your shopping trip? We are having a lot of fun. Is your brother spending a lot of money? No, no teacher. No, teacher. No, teacher. Only one That's all. Only you. That's all. Good. Hi, Rosita. What are you doing? Um. Hey, teacher. Hey. Hey teacher. hey, teacher, I'm studying in a elevator and it's stuck. Oh no, are you okay? 
Yeah, I write. It's smoking now. Thanks, goodness. Thank goodness. You say like, yeah, I, and then you stop when you say like, yeah, I wait. It is moving now. Thank goodness, right? Let me see. Rene, how are you and Eric enjoying your shopping trip? We are having a lot of fun. Is Eric spending a lot of money? Yeah, no, not to share. <laughs> He's buying only one or two things. That's all. Okay. Hi, Eric. What are you doing? Hi, teacher. I am studying in the elevator. Elevator. Uh, studying the, or standing? Is, standing. Ah. In an elevator. 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 Okay. Hey, teacher. I am standing in the elevator. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Hi, teacher. I am standing in an elevator. In an ah, elevator. elevator. Ah, okay. Hey, teacher. I am standing. Standing. <laughs> in, Hi. In an... Hi, Eric. What are you doing? <laughs> Come on. Hi, Eric. What are you doing? Hey, teacher. I am standing in the elevator and it's stuck. Oh, no. Are you okay? Yeah, I... Wait. It's moving now. Thanks, goodness. Very good <laughs> Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's difficult. I am standing in an elevator, right? In an elevator. In an, because you cannot say in a elevator because elevator is with vowel, right? I am standing in an elevator and it's stuck. Good. Let's continue here. I am going to present here uh, the quantifiers. Quantifiers, as the names suggest, they explain quantities. I am going to make it bigger for you to have the opportunity to see it. What comes to your mind when you listen? Quantifiers, quantities, right? Quantities. And in this case, we are referring to different percentages. For example, here we have 100%, 90, 85, 80, 90, 80. We can have 75, we can have 60. 50, 40, 30, 20, 30, <laughs> 10. That was okay. the last one. Ya ven, para ver si están poniendo atención. Okay, these are the different percentages that we might have about the quantifiers. And I am going to show them to you. I'm going to make it this one a little bit bigger. And we have 100%, it will be all. I can say that all Salvadorians like pupusas. All Salvadorians like pupusas. Or nearly all Salvadorians. Tal vez hay alguno extraño que no nació aquí. Ay, pupusas, yuck. Nearly all, nearly all Salvadorians. Most of Salvadorians like Loroco. Most Salvadorians. Because there are some that say, Ilk, Laraca, I don't like it. Most. Many, many Salvadorians have one dog at home. Many. It would be like 85% of homes have one dog. A lot of families have a cat. A lot of families. Because here in El Salvador, there are a lot of mouse. Right? And there are a lot of animals. Some Salvadorians, some Salvadorians don't like tamales. We might say, it's like, ay, tamale, guacala, yuk. Some. Not many, not many Salvadorians have more than one house. Not many Salvadorians have more than one house. Or do you have two houses? All right, one here and one at the beach. No, right. So not many Salvadorians have two houses. Ay, qué aburrido aquí en San Salvador me voy a ir para Aguachapa. Yeah, y si tienen dos casas es bajo de agua. <laughs> not many Salvadorians have two houses. A few, a few families, a few families have more than two cars. Right? And few Salvadorians don't like beans. 
It was like frijoles, ¿qué es eso? You. Where are you from? You can say, no one in El Salvador, no one in El Salvador gets married before getting a duty. Because it is not possible, right? Yes. So in the quantifiers, right, we have the different percentages. The top percentages that we have, it's all, nearly all, and most, right? Todos, casi todos, y la mayoría. Here you have many, a lot, and some. What is the meaning of this? ¿Qué significarían estos? What is the meaning of many? Muchos, algunos. Muchos. 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 Algunos. 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 Okay, muchos. Una parte. Una parte. Yeah, algunos, right? A lot of, muchos de ellos. And no not mucho. many, a few and few. What is the meaning of this? Mucho, no, no muchos. No muchos. No muchos. Pocos. Pocos. Unos pocos. Ajá. Pocos unos mocos. Uno, unos mocos. Unos mocos. Okay. <laughs> bueno. Hey. Ah, you see. Thank you, mocos. You see, that's good. That's good, yeah. Vi a, alguien picarse la, vi a alguien picarse la nariz por eso. <risa> Unos mocos. Ya ven, no se piquen la nariz ni se muerdan los dedos en la clase porque me confunden. <risa> Unos mocos. Ya ven, pero se rieron. Ah, despertaron. No one. What is the meaning of no one? Nadie. Ninguno. Ninguno. Nadie. Right, nadie. A ver, eso es por si se estaban durmiendo. Hey, hombre, yo digo unos mocos. Come on, come on. Es actuado. Es actuado, todo esto es actuación, yo sé. Good. Todo está realmente calculado. Definitely. Can you create, can you create one example using a quantifier? Can you create one example using a quantifier? All people wait at Christmas. All people wait for Christmas. Yes. Another example. All, all families oh celebrate God. Christmas. All families celebrate Christmas. Good. Another one. All my family likes a uh, duck. All my family likes dogs. Good. Another example. Give me one example with some. Some. Some family are bigger. Some families are bigger uh -huh, than what? Some families are bigger mm -hmm. than others. Yeah. Some families are bigger some, than others. Uh, oh, okay. Some person need vacation. Some people, some people need vacation. Some uh, people doesn't like, some doesn't like, uh, I don't know, uh, pupusas. Some example. people, some people doesn't like pupusas, yes. Can you say some people doesn't? Es posible decir no. people it doesn't juntos? Yeah. No, 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 it's plural. Aha, because people is plural. People is plural. People are plural. Okay, mm -hmm. so people, the word people, it's a plural word. And in this case, say some Not. people don't, don't like, don't like. Wow. Okay. Porque doesn't sería por, for he, she, and it. Good. Can you give me an example with no one? No one. Can you give me an example with no one? Solo de una canción me acordé. No one person practice <laughs> skiing in El Salvador, maybe? Aha! Good sentence, but you cannot say no one person, porque no one ya incluye nadie, ninguna persona. So yes, you say yes, no you're, one. You're right. No, no one, one practice. practice Ski in the Sabbath? Ski yes, because we don't have snow, right? That's the, the little <laughs> problem, right? Detallitos de la vida. It's the only thing. Una cosita la que no falta. No, but it's black snow. <laughs> yeah, when they are burning the, the sugar cake. <laughs> 
when they are burning the sugar cane, we have yes. dark snow. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, we cannot ski on that one. Can you give me an example with a uh, many, many students? Many students. Many students are connected right now. Many students are connected right now. Very good. Let me see a few, a few Salvadorians. A few Salvadorians have cars. A few Salvadorians have cars. Very good. Very good. And tell me the last one. Many, many women. Many women. Many women play soccer. Many women play soccer. That's a very good example, right? Many women play soccer nowadays. And that it's a very good thing, right? Let me see. Let's continue here with the next slide. Excellent job, my dear students. Here. How would you rewrite these sentences using the words that we have just learned, right? Usando los, los cuantitativos que acabamos de aprender y reemplazando ese porcentaje que tenemos aquí. In China, women get married by the age of 22. What word would you use to replace the 50%? Some. Ah, so you say, in China, many. many, some, a lot, a lot. So, so how would you create the sentence in China? Um, a lot of women get married by, by the, the age, age of 22. 22. A lot of women, women, a lot of women get married mm. by the age of 22. In Australia, and we have here. In Australia, all of married couples have children. Almost, married couples have children. A couple. Can you say all? All is one hundred. Almost yes. Almost I say almost. Nearly um most. Okay. In Australia, most are married couples. Most of married couples have children. Okay. In Australia, most and you erase the off. Most married couples have. Children. Uh, children. What about this one? In the United States. No one of the no people one, before no us. For before the, the age. age. No one. No one no votes one. No before one. the age. No of one of one 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 before the age of 18. Before the age of 18. Good. I explained this one before. You cannot, you cannot say no one of the people. Porque ahí dijéramos ninguno, ninguno, nadie de las gentes. You would be like... <laughs> Pero como somos salvadoreños. Yeah, no, but, it's more but this, is, this is American English, come on. Right? In El Salvador, you would say like, nadie ninguno, pero nadie nadita de la gente. In, in the United States, no one votes before the age of 18. What about the next one? 35% of people in Germany. A few percent. Uh -huh. How would you transform this one? 35% of the people. Leave alone. So, percent. In, Germany, in Germany, in Germany, in Germany, 35%. In Germany, leave alone. Leave alone. In Germany, leave alone. Okay, some people in Germany live alone. That's it, very good. And the next one, 78% of American high school students. Uh -huh. America. How oh, many? So you say many, many, most. Many American. Uh -huh. How many? Many. How many? Many of American <laughs> high school students have. This. <laughs> okay. Many American high school students have a job, right? Here in El Salvador, it's very, very little the percentage of people who has a job in high school. So what about yeah. this one? I am going to ask Claudita and Eduardo to help me read this sentence. 
let me see. Claudita and Eduardo, go ahead. I am going to give you the conversation for the two of you. Pay attention for pronunciation, okay? Los demás estén atentos a la pronunciación. Action. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Claudia? Actually, I am a only child. Really? Yeah, most families is China have only one child, no, no one days. I didn't cut not that. What about you, Eduardo? Ya me perdí, por donde iba. What about you, Eduardo? What about you? I come. <laughs> I come from a big family. Oiga, I come from I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller. These days, both big family are great because during you and they because you get a lot are very that present. Okay, good. Yeah, <laughs> then. Yeah, then. Yeah, then. Por eso no me enamoré. <risa> ay, ay, me perdí. <risa> Para ver si estaban poniendo atención. Mm -hmm. They, that's my phrase. <risa> claro, por supuesto. Ajá, ajá. Mm -hmm. yeah, es, que, es que de repente iba leyendo y decía, ya, yeah, most families. Ay, la Juanita tan bonita. Ah, oh, me perdí. Ay, ah. oh, la cachimbean por la Juanita. ¿Quién es la Juanita? Ah. How, how many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, so you, say, you don't say actually, you say actually, right? Actually, in this case, you say like actually, it would be like, mira, en efecto, I am an only child. I am an only child. So she's unique, right? Really? Yeah. Most of families in China have only one child nowadays. Nowadays, right? I didn't know that. You didn't say can know, right? I what didn't know. Uh-huh. How do you say? Nowadays. Nowadays. Yeah. Actualmente. En estos días. Hoy en día. Mm. Nowadays. Because if you tell me, teacher, how do you say nowadays? I'm going to tell you nowadays. <laughs> but if you tell me what's the meaning, what's the meaning nowadays? Hoy en día. Okay. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcus? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. It's that typical in El Salvador? Not really. A lot of families are, less, are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Birthday, remember the pronunciation, birthday. Okay, don't say birthday. Porque birthday is el día de la cerveza, right? Say birthday. birthday. Don't say birthday. birthday. <sighs> Happy birthday, you know, birthday, birthday. <laughs> Good. So in this case, in this case, we have different uh, questions. For example, when you say how many, how many brothers and sisters do you have? And in this, you are giving an explanation about the, uh, the extension of your family. If you are an only child, if you have two or three or more brothers, right? And when you have here, for example, a lot of families are smaller these days. This is an example of a quantifier, right? A lot of families. Here, here I have something for us to continue practicing the quantifiers. And I have here typical families. I am going to ask Mr. Noel to read the first percentage that we have here. Number one, can you help me, Noel? 
<sighs> okay. 41% per, uh, percent. Uh, of homes have three or more television. Very good. Eric, uh, continue. Uh, city, uh, 63 of families almost always eat dinner together. 63%. 63%. Good. René, continue. 55 mother with young children work. 55%. Percent. Percent. Of right. With young work, children work. Very good. Claudia Saravia, go ahead. 78% of high school students have job. Very good. Rosita, the next one. Four of adults between the ages, ages, ages of uh, eighteen, eighteen, eighteen uh, to thirty-five, thirty-five. Mary, Mary, good. Elmer, can you help me with the last one? Twenty-seven of adults between the age of eighteen and thirty-four, 34 live with their parents. Live, live with their parents, right? Live with their parents. Live and in these cases, car. how do you Teacher, read it? Yes. What is the meaning of Mary? Mary, say cousin. Okay. Uh. Seventy-four percent, right? You have to be very specific when reading the word percent, right? Because if you only tell me. 41 of homes have three or more televisions, right? Solo 41 casas. 41%, 41% de las casas, right? It is very important to mention the number. If you tell me 55 mothers with young children work, solo 55 de las 4 millones de mujeres trabajan. No, 55% of mothers with young children. Right, 74% of adults between the ages of 18 to 35 marry. And the last one, 27% of adults between the ages of 18 to 34 live with their parents. And now, this is about the United States, right? Estos porcentajes son de Estados Unidos. Si los trajéramos a nuestro país, ¿qué porcentaje le pusiéramos a cada una de estas situaciones? How many televisions or how percentage of televisions do you consider that here in El Salvador have three televisions or more? 40%, 50%? 80, 85. 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 40, 50, who gives more? 70. 80. Aquí, aquí vemos ocho adultos. 70. Ajá. How many of you have more than two TVs? How many TVs do you have? I have. I have two. I have two, 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 two television. I have two television. I have four television. <gasps> wow. He has four, two, 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 and I think everybody has two, right? So, in El Salvador, that it's very common that you have many televisions, and maybe you don't use all of them, but you have many, right? You have many TVs. So I think that it will be like a sixty percent, right? We're going to leave it in a 60% of houses have more than three or two televisions. Families eat dinner together. What percentage do you think it will go here according to our country? ¿Cuántas de todas nuestras familias creen ustedes que cenan juntos? Um, 75 percent. Huh? 25. Todos sentaditos en la mesa juntos? No, 20%. No. A few, maybe oh, yeah. 20%. 20, 25%, right? Because many families in El Salvador eat where? ¿Dónde comen in la mesa? In front of the TV. In front of the TV. 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 They leave it. It's true, in right? In the bedroom. The bed. In the living room, in the bedroom, right? On their bed. Checking the phone. What about the next one? Of mothers with young children work. 
Ooh. Maybe mm. 90%. Mm. It would be 85. 85, 90. Yeah, I have, yeah. I have a young kid and I work. <laughs> so I am part of the percentage. What about the next one? High school students have a job. ¿Cuántos de nuestros estudiantes de bachillerato tienen trabajos? Five or ten percent. Yes. Ten percent. Five or ten percent. Okay, let's leave it on 30 to see if they work. No. 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 It's too much. No. It's too much. Okay, I am yeah. going to and give it on ten percent. Okay. Ten. Ten percent of high school students have jobs. Adults between the ages of 18 to 35 get married. 50%. 50%, right? And adults between the ages of 18 to 35 live with their parents. ¿Cuántos viven con sus papás? 68. 35. 35. Para que no haya 50%. <laughs> because uh, yeah, they, they uh, live with their parents or if not they come back to live with their parents right <laughs> Cuando no funciona el amarre, you go back no. <laughs> <laughs> hola ma volví <laughs> no <mama>. me quiso <laughs> <Su mama>. eh. <laughs> ni, te de, ni te deciste la cama pues ahí está <laughs> <laughs> so I am going to jump this one because we are going to use it uh, on the next class but I wanted to explain how is it going to be the presentation for Tuesday right how is it going to be the presentation for Tuesday the presentation is going to go like this you are going to create a, a two or three minute presentation describing yourself in third person. Your personal information, likes, dislikes, daily activities, and include a little of your experience in the module. If you have had challenges in this module, you have to explain how you face it and you can describe the challenge. If something was difficult, for example, uh, during this module that you have, you can explain it. How are you going to talk about you in third person? You are going to say, okay, people, today I am going to talk about Nati, a picture of you, right? Um, she is a teacher. She works a lot from seven in the morning to 10 p.m. She loves English. She teaches in English Corporativo. She uh, has very excellent students. She loves English, blah, blah, blah. She likes to do this and that. She doesn't like uh, uh, she doesn't like to play soccer, right? You are going to explain all this and her experience in this module in pre-incarmated one has been fantastic. She learned many things about uh, personal information, about music, likes, dislikes, about present continuous, and the best topic for her was music. This is Nati. Thank you very much. Right? So you are going to talk about you in third person. Don't forget that the presentation has to be in English. Okay? Don't come to me and say like, bueno, le voy a contar un poquito de mí. No, all right. In English. In English. Create material if you need. Si usted quiere poner una foto suya preciosa ahí. Como su autobiografía. That's okay. You can do it. Keep your cameras active. That is very important, right? Because as you are going to be talking, your camera has to be active. And important, pay attention during the presentations and ask at least one question. Tienen que preguntar al menos una vez a alguien. Like, what was your favorite topic? What did you like the most? What was the most difficult part? What did you learn? Right? What did you learn on this module? Uh, what was your favorite uh, part? Right? You have to explain all this. Okay? That is important to keep it in mind. Right? So we are going to talk about ourselves. Uh, if I, uh -huh, if I, I don't, si nosotros fuéramos otra persona. 
no, 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 no. You are going to talk about you in third person. O sea, como que yo me pusiera a hablar ahorita y le digo, ok, um, I am going to talk about Nati. Nati is a student ah. in English corporativo. She loves English. She is very talkative, sociable, eh, beautiful, amazing, etc., 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 right? Ah, and you okay. are going to describe. She likes to study. She loves reading. She likes music. Her favorite actor is uh, Vin Diesel. I don't know. So different things. Your likes, dislikes, daily activities. And ¿Y, en, y en ese día va a haber alguien especial ahí o para que hagamos eso o solo usted? Me. O sea, digamos, <laughs> alguien más. Pues. I am Thank a special man. Alguien más. I am a special Aparte man. Thank you. Thank you very alguien. much. Todos los que ven este video en YouTube. Thank you. Ah. Todos mis fans. Yeah. Corazón que no ve. No, oh ojo God. que no ve, corazón que no siente. Va a haber alguien especial. I am special. You are special for me. <laughs> Hoy me voy a ir a dormir con el corazón roto. <laughs> no, it is only for the class, right? It's only for the class. And also for all the teachers in English Corporativo who watches your class. So uh, they are going to be watching you talking later on. Okay. Now for the class, it's going to be me and all your friends. Okay. So that is special enough. Si no, invitamos a toda okay. su familia aquí. Hoy Atrapa, Eric va a presentar. Carmen. Eric va a presentar que se conecte a su mamá, su papá, su hermana, su tía, <laughs> everybody. Okay. Now it's going to be for the class only. Okay. Three minutes, around three minutes for the presentation. And it's going to be on Tuesday. Okay. This is going to be on Tuesday. If you have any further question, I am going to send you an example and the image for uh, the presentation during the weekend. Have a beautiful night, my dear students, and I'm going to see you on Monday for the next class. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take care. Have a good bye -bye. night. Bye. Good night. Bye.